Today's project is going to take the drippy, organic, and fun shapes that you find in a lava lamp and combine it with the drippy, organic, and psychedelic artwork of Jen Stark. Jen's work includes paintings, sculptures, public art, and even animation. No matter what material she decides to work in, her style is the one thing that always stands out. Brightly colored, abstract, and psychedelic. Perfect for a lava lamp. The first step we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our paper vertical. We're gonna fold it in half. I'm folding it like I'm creating a card so that the fold is on the left. Now I'm gonna create my lava lamp shape. So this is my fold closest to the cattail. Oh. And I'm gonna start on the fold. I'm gonna make a small horizontal line that's gonna be the top of the lava lamp. I'm gonna to aim towards this edge and create a diagonal. And this is creating the bottle shape and have the cap, the main bottle. Then it angles back in. And then I'm gonna come out for the base. Now, you can have a lot of variation with this shape, so it doesn't really matter as long as you have the top, kind of angle out, back in, into the base. I'm gonna trace this so you can see the shape a little bit better because I know pencil doesn't always show up on the video as well as I would like. So there's the top, the diagonal out, the diagonal back in, and the base. Now the next step is to cut that out. When I open it because the fold was here, I have a nice symmetrical shape. Now you can always make it thinner, but this will do just fine. For the next part, I'm going to think about my colors that I want for my lava lamp. You can do kind of a rainbow order or do a pattern. You could pick warm colors, red, yellow, orange, cool colors, blue, green, and purple. Sparky seems to think purple would be nice. It seems, well, or he, either he likes the purple or he doesn't want me to use the purple. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I think he wants me to use the purple. So I'm gonna start with my, whatever color I choose. And the first paper, if it helps you, you can draw the, your shape. So I'm gonna make kind of just a wavy line and remember, we're basing this on the artist, Jen Stark. So I know you probably can't see that that well. Okay, I'm gonna go over my line so you can see it better on the video. So I'm gonna do my wavy line like that. Sparky is really being a camera hog today. So here's my curvy line. And I'm thinking about the lovely drippy waves that you see in the artist, Jen Stark, in her work. So I'm going to cut this out. And the important thing for this is to keep these lines nice and smooth. If you can kind of see, I'm turning the paper so that I can get nice smooth lines. And it's okay if you change it, like you don't have to be right on that black line. That was just a guideline. There we go. So that's my first wavy line. 
The next step is I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm going to take, this is going to be the next color. So I'm going to think about these in rows. I'm going to glue the purple on top of this lovely turquoise. I'm going to put my glue stick down and I'm going to line my paper up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and I'm going to just kind of add to this curve so that I get the drippy sensation. And again, the important thing is to have a nice smooth edge to this so it looks like that melting kind of color drips. Now I'm gonna repeat this with each color I want to add. So I'm gonna do, I like the way the yellow looks against the blue, really pops. I'm gonna put my glue stick on here. And I'm gonna glue this down. And I'm gonna do my next row. So this is how big my lava lamp is. I can kind of compare and see how far I've come. The lava lamp has a little cap on the top, so I can think about this starting here, and the base would be here, so I would have just that much white. If I don't want any white at all, I can think about, there, maybe I'll do that right there. So I took a scrap that I had, and when I lay this on top, it's got so much drip that it's coming down you only see the solid part. So, I like that. Oh, I don't want a cattail in there. So I need to put the glue on this part now so it'll glue onto the piece that I have here. And then I'm gonna turn it over so I can make sure that it's gonna cover all of that. Now this is wider than my lava lamp. So what I can do, I can line this up, it'll be perfect because I can line this horizontal edge up where the base would be. And then this can be my cap on the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my glue on here. I really wanna make sure I get this well glued. So I'm gonna get a lot of glue on here. It's gonna be nice and secure. You can line that right up. And then the nice thing is what we can do once this is all glued down, turn it over and all you have to do is trim this part off. So we wanna carefully cut along these edges so that this will fit my lava lamp shape. Nice. Now I can just go ahead and make sure everything's glued together nicely. Now the last step is the same thing. I'm gonna make the cap and the base. I'm gonna make mine black. So I'm just going to put some glue Right up here. Put my piece of paper on top. Then I can turn it over and carefully cut out that shape. Sometimes if the paper's big, I'll just keep going like that just to get it out of the way and make it easier for me to get my scissors to the last piece. Ta-da! And I think this part is big enough to do the base. I'm going to make sure everything's glued down well. So if something's kind of loose, just give it a little bit extra. And I'm going to use the 
this piece. Make sure it's covering up all those edges. Turn it over. And carefully trim so it fits the shape of your lamp. And there is my Jen Stark inspired lava lamp. Don't forget to put your name on it, friends. <laughs>